morning and welcome to Timeline Broadcast. I'm Chelsea. And I'm Julia. MBU hosted its second annual Heart and Art seminar this past weekend. The seminar focused on the color of worship and featured a roundtable of key speakers that spoke about the principles of worship at the two-day event. Spring break is only one day away. Get caught up on some sleep, Spartans, and get ready for the last few weeks of the semester. Tomorrow, MBU will host its annual Senior Adult Day. Last year, more than 400 senior citizens attended the event. Guests are treated to lunch and a musical production put on by students and staff. Campus parking will be limited during the day, so plan accordingly. Susicle the Musical will open the weekend after spring break. Student tickets are half price at only $12 with a valid student ID. The MBU's student government organization is voicing its presence on campus. Timeline Broadcast caught up with SGA President Chris Cook for more on what the organization is doing for you. Hi, my name is Chris Cook. I'm president of the student government here at Missouri Baptist University. I just want to take a moment to explain a little bit about what the student government is, what we can do for you, and how you can get involved. First of all, the student government is made up of nine organizations, three student representatives, and three executive members. What we do is we work to be a mediator between you, the students, and the faculty here at Missouri Baptist. If you have concerns, you can bring them to us. We can work with you there. Issues that we've covered in the past, the potholes in Lot C. That's a major issue we've dealt with in the last couple weeks. This issue was resolved because students like you came to us, explained your problems with the potholes in Lot C, and we were able to explain those problems with Dr. Chambers, who then contacted people like Campus Maintenance, who then filled the potholes. It's because of you that we were able to make this happen, which is why we need your involvement. If you're looking to get involved in student government, you can do it two easy ways. First one, simply liking our Facebook page, MBU SGA. Secondly, you can send us an email at sga at mobap.edu. Just let us know your concerns. Leave us a comment on Facebook or send us an email. Most importantly, it takes involvement. It takes being concerned about your campus. If you want to see things changed, be sure to contact one of us. Thank you for your time. For sports, here's Travis. Hey Spartans. Last Thursday was blue out night for the men's and women's basketball teams. The business division handed out 400 free t-shirts to Spartan fans for the special night. The game was also the last home game and there was a ceremony honoring the senior athletes and their families. Last week the Spartan cheer team was named to the NAIA National Qualifiers. They will head to Oklahoma to compete for the NAIA National Championship on March 15th. The women's lacrosse team extended their winning streak to three games after their trip to Shawnee, Oklahoma this last weekend. The ladies dominated Oklahoma Baptist with a decisive score of 17-2. Today, the Spartans face Lindenwood Belleville as they try to extend their streak to four games. The men's volleyball team went undefeated on Saturday during the Spartan Invitational. The men beat Emmanuel College in two sets, holding Emmanuel to only nine points in the second set. The team continued to a 4-0 record on the day. Great job, guys. This week's Athlete of the Week is women's lacrosse player Danielle File. File also holds the honors of National Women's Lacrosse Player of the Week. She scored 18 goals in her last three games, leading the Spartans to their recent winning streak. For Timeline Sports, I'm Travis. Go hard in the paint, Spartans. Thanks, Travis. For Timeline Broadcast, I'm Chelsea. And I'm Julia. Keep it classy, Spartans.